Hello mga kapuso! This is Mikey Quintos and this is Kapuso Confession. Tatlo agad din pumasok sa isip ko. <laughs> si Ruru, si Mekoy, tsaka si Thea. Parang each project, no? Ruru, I became close with sa Encantadia. Mekoy, Around that time also, because we did workshops together, but then later on, we did circus together. Nakambal kami. Tapos si Thea, sa walong time na yun, sila pa ni Mikoy, mm, juicy confessions naman to, di ba? <laughs> Kaya kami naging close ni Thea, pero mas naging close pa kami when we did The Lost Recipe together. And that project is where I met Paul also. Sa so, lahat ng teleserye ang nagawa ko, ang kantadya siyempre ang hindi ko pinakamakakalimutan dahil it changed my life. It was my very first project. Lira, yung doon ko natutunan magbasa ng breakdown, doon ko natutunan kung ano feeling maging artista for the first, as in first taping day ko was on the set of Encantadia. It was a, parang it was a starting point of my whole life today. Yeah. Ang pinakamalaking misconception about me is, and you know, I get this a lot lately. I started doing hosting workshops. Tapos yung teacher namin in the workshop told me na ang first impression niya daw sa akin ay mataray ako. Bago yun. Misconception yun. Di ba? Riyak naman po kayo dyan. <laughs> Misconception yun. Nag-agree sila. <laughs> Kasi nagulat ako na tinawag akong mataray daw ako tignan. Because I have a very transparent face. As in, whatever I'm not saying, it shows here. So, maybe others might take it as nagtataray na ako. Pero no, I'm just deep in thought. That's just my expression kapag malalim yung iniisip ko. Sa lahat ng co-stars ko sa Encantadia, pinakabumilib ako sa acting skills ay kay Ate Glyza de Castro. We were a big cast. Marami kami sa Encantadia. Pero si Ate Glyza, grabe yung commitment na when I see her prepare for work, as in, si Perena kasi ang bigat-bigat na character. Mabigat siyang tao, marami siyang anger in her personality, yung character niya mismo. So, I think Ate Glyza, to prepare for that, sinaseparate niya na sarili niya kahit sa standby area, like, talagang nagpo-focus siya doon. And yung temptation na lahat nagkakwentuhan, syempre gusto mo sumali sa ganun, di ba? Kita ko yung control niya Ate Glyza doon and galing, respect. As in, I, I actually thought, since bago ako, na wala lang, trip lang niya. Ganun lang siya sa lahat ng projects. Until I worked with her somewhere else, na one day taping lang, and parang nabang tao yung katrabaho ko. So, dun ako sobrang nabilib sa kanya na whatever the character needs, she unapologetically does her job. Idol ko siya dun. Honestly, isa yun sa mga naging staples ko na parang, I wanna be like that. I wanna work like that. Ganun. Takot ako sa mga spider. Dalang dami nilang paa at saka mata. Ayaw ko ng spider. Doon ako takot. Literal. Isa sa mga highlights ng aking showbiz career is totoo naman din na nung in-encourage ako ng GMA playlist to sing and to release my own single, Just Enough, was the start of confidence that I think I never would have found kung hindi ako nag-umpisang maging matapang kumanta in public. And yeah, highlight yun. Kasi yung build-up din dun to get there was really hard for me, personally. Hard cause mental battle. Parang you fight your own insecurities, you fight your own doubts sa sarili mo. And doing that single with GMA Playlist, parang kung may award ka, may trophy ka, di ba? And yung first single na yun, yung parang trophy ng pag-build up ng confidence na yun. Yeah! For more exclusive content of your favorite Kapusu stars and shows, 
just visit gmanetwork.com.